Well, good day, Glav here, and welcome back. Today's ride sees me going down to visit my sister in Armidale, New South Wales. There's many different ways you can get down to Armidale, but today I'm shooting straight down the New England Highway, which I must say is not a bad motorcycle ride. It's pretty easy going. I'd, I'd describe it as a good cruiser ride, not too much traffic at all. There are more exciting ways to go down that way to Armidale, where you can cut back and forth across the Great Dividing Range. But today I just wanted to get there, so about five and a half hours in the saddle and just over 470 kilometres. This is coming over Cunningham's Gap, which will see us stop at our first stop at Warwick. Warwick's about 158 k's from Brisbane via National Highway 15, and it's about 500 metres above sea level. Warwick itself is an attractive rural city which is known for its large number of historic elegant buildings etc, churches etc etc. Given I've done 150 k's I reckon it's time for a coffee and then after Warwick I'll head off towards the border between Queensland and New South Wales at Wollongarra which will be about another 100 k's from Warwick. Wollongarra is a border town between Queensland and New South Wales. It's a good little stop if you need to stop that is for fuel and a feed. I'd recommend stopping at the railway station there which has got a great cafe. No stop for me on this occasion. I'm going to keep going straight through Wollongarra uh, on my way to my sister's. Uh, once I go through Wollongarra across the border we head down to Tenterfield where I'll stop for fuel. It's only about 25 kilometres. Tenerfield's another nice rural town with a population of oh, about 4,000 people and about 900 metres elevation. The New England Highway runs right through the guts of the town. This is a really the start of the New England tableland, so from here on in it starts to get cold. Um, once again, great place to stop if you need a feed and to fuel up. The next point of interest for a biker down the New England is Bolivia Hill which is about, oh, I don't know, about 37 k's south of Tenerfield. Normally it's a really nice belt up that bit of road, nice and twisty and fast, but unfortunately one lane's closed, they're doing a lot of road works on that section of road. When it is open, I warn you though, there's a lot of coppers on that section of road and I have been booked there once or twice myself before. From Bolivia Hill we head further south down the New England um, and head towards deep water which is only another I don't know about 20 kilometres or so. It's not a bad little town it's got a bakery and a cafe On this occasion I've stopped at the roadhouse where I always stop for lunch. Got a population of about 500 people I guess. From Deepwater we head south again to Glen Innes which is about another 42 kilometres. Again running right down the New England Highway and it runs right through the guts of Glen Innes itself. The town is located at an intersection on the New England and the Guida Highway. Um, I've got to tell you at some stage you want to ride the Guida Highway. This is a motorcycling must road. Uh, Glen Innes itself is about 1100 metres in elevation.
Glen Innes, south to Gaia is about another 60 kilometres or so. Elevation of Gaia is about 1300 odd metres in elevation, about 4000 feet. And it's got a couple of population of a couple of thousand people. I gotta tell you, this place is friggin' cold. It always is, summer, winter, whatever. It's just a cold bloody hole. to Armidale which is only about I don't know another 37 kilometers where I'll stay with my sister for a bit. Armidale is one of the largest towns on the New England tableland. You've got UNA which is the University of New England located here. Population about 30,000. If I had more time I would have headed back to Brisbane via Waterfall Way which is crossing the Great Divide again. It's another great bit of motorcycling ride. I'll do a video in the future on that. Armidale itself was settled in 1830 by John Oxley. Whilst it's now a university town it was originally an agricultural town settled mostly by Scottish people. This has a uh, really nice old architecture around this town. It's got shitloads of coffee shops and pubs, which makes it a pretty good place to stay and pretty cool place at that. Here we are, right in the centre of Armidale. Quite a pretty little place. Pretty cold though. This is on the New England tableland, as I've mentioned before. So um, this is the proverbial brass monkey type area. Nice spot, lots of coffee shops, I like it. No, no, come here. This is me and my sister Sonia. This is who I'm down visiting in this cold... Stand up, you silly <laughs> bitch. <laughs> this is down who I'm visiting. I won't be doing it again if she keeps this shit up. So hey, thanks for checking back in to Glav's World. I've got to tell you, however, this has been a real tough week for my family, particularly my sister, and it just reinforces what I always say, guys, live life today. <laughs>